hey guys welcome or welcome back to our channel today is the 30th of may 2021 and it's been more than a week since we arrived here in istanbul i hope you're all doing great so this vlog is a diary of our journey from melbourne australia to istanbul turkey in the time of corona I must warn you that this may not be the best footage because I was not in the best mood to film the entire thing but it will at least give you a glimpse of our travel experience so if you're curious about how travel is at the moment keep watching this is us checking in at Melbourne Airport Ignore the sign saying business class as we do not travel on business class, although we wish we did. So how are we able to leave Australia despite border restrictions? We applied for a travel exemption online and the documents that we submitted for our trip included a Commonwealth statutory declaration stating that we were making an application for travel exemption on the basis that we intend to be absent from Australia for more than three months and a confirmed flight itinerary with return date of at least three months after departure date. For up-to-date information on leaving Australia, refer to homeaffairs.gov.au. For the airline, we had to submit a negative COVID test. For the latest information on what airlines require, refer to the airline's website. And for the latest requirements for your travel destination, refer to iatatravelcenter.com. The plane was basically empty from what we saw at the gate. It looked like there were only 10 passengers in all, including us. In our section of the plane, there were only 5 of us, including one kid, and we were seated as far apart as we could be. It felt like we chartered an entire 787 jet. Each passenger seemed to have been assigned an entire row to themselves. Scott and I only sat beside each other while we were awake and then we went on separate rows so we could sleep comfortably. It was a 14 hour flight from Melbourne to Abu Dhabi. The duration of the second leg of our trip, which was from Abu Dhabi to Istanbul, was 4 hours and 40 minutes. There were also only a few passengers on that flight, but it was more than those in our Melbourne Abu Dhabi flight. Finally, we arrived safely in Istanbul. The airport was not busy as you can see, and we were out in just a few minutes. Our check-in luggages were already on the carousel as soon as we got there.
sunny skies and warmer temperatures welcomed us as we drove to Scott's parents' place. A contrast to the gloomy and chilly autumn to winter temperatures we got away from in Melbourne. So that was our international travel experience in the time of Corona. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel vlogs. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one!